My brothers and sisters, when Bilal ibn Rabah radiyallahu anhu at the beginning of Islam was being tortured, he was being dragged in the hot sand on the hot stones and he was being harmed. He kept on repeating Ahadun Ahad. I'm sure we have heard that. At that juncture, he had no idea what the future held, but he had hope in the mercy of Allah. He did not know that a day will come when he will be given the honor of calling out the Adhan in the same Mecca, in the same Masjid, on the same Kaaba, in the vicinity of which he was being punished and penalized. At that juncture, right at the beginning, he didn't give up, but he knew that Allah has a better plan. When victory came, it came sweeter than he expected it. When Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu an and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam together with a few were being persecuted in Makkah al Mukarramah, subhanallah, the companions had conviction and hope in the mercy of Allah. But they didn't know exactly how Allah had planned the victory. That victory was sweeter and better than they had ever imagined. When Musa alayhi salatu was was faced with the Pharaoh, the destruction of the Pharaoh, and he used to kill the boys, and he used to commit and perpetrate the most heinous of crimes, they didn't know exactly in what shape the victory would come or when it would come. But they knew that Allah had promised them ultimate victory. They continued to have hope in the mercy of Allah. And this is why when they prayed to Allah to say, Oh Allah, when is this victory going to come? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to the call of Musa alayhi salam and Harun. Moses and Aaron, may peace be upon them. We have indeed answered your prayer. So now we want you to be steadfast. The mercy of Allah, the help of Allah comes to those who are steadfast, but their journey to developing the closeness with Allah at times has in it the challenges of this world. We should never lose hope, my brothers and sisters. Remain steadfast. No matter what we are going through, it will never be worse than what Bilal ibn Rabah radiallahu anhu went through. Did victory not come to him? Did he not see days he didn't even imagine he would see? We cannot have gone through worse than what the Prophet Musa alayhi salam went through. Did he not see victory? And Allah tells him, your dua has been answered. It has been answered. Yet the destruction of the Pharaoh only came years later. In the interim, Allah told him, do you know what? Be steadfast, you and your brother. Don't lose focus. My brothers and sisters, the challenges you have on earth should bring you closer to Allah and not take you further away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever hardship, be it a financial hardship, be it a difficulty in your workplace or with your health, with your family, no matter what it may be, never lose hope in the mercy of Allah. It must not take you away from Allah. It must bring you closer. Allah told those whom he loves, who have been through more than anything you will ever go through. Allah told them, don't worry, we know. Subhanallah, you just be steadfast. We will take care of the rest. When the time is right, you will taste the sweetest of victory in a, man, in a manner that you didn't even imagine.